If organic chemical hypertoxicity is the central cause of chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, uh, chemical hyperreactivity syndromes, multiple inflammatory problems, and degenerative neurologic disorders, wouldn't it be great if we could get those poisons out of our systems and actually take them out of the game? Well, it turns out that that actually is possible. I have discussed a case of a woman with psoriasis and alopecia, and we saw that in the beginning of her treatment with a sequestrant, namely bentonite clay, taking two teaspoons um, in a quart of fluid, and did this twice a day, she was able to lower the circulating poison concentration in the interstitial fluids or the fluids that bathe our cells and move around our body as blood and as lymph, she was able to get the concentration of the toxins so low that the immune system couldn't detect their presence. And once they couldn't detect the presence, the inflammation that was represented by the psoriatic lesions disappeared. But you may remember that periodically she would stop her clay or she would stop her charcoal, which she later used, and then the lesions would come back. And then she would restart and they would go away, which told us she had lowered the circulating levels, but she still had poisons in her cells. And each time she stopped the sequestrant or took the sponge out of her gut, the circulating level rose and then suddenly she had the manifestations of inflammation and psoriasis again. Six and a half years after she started this process, she was able to stop the charcoal and she didn't get any lesions, which meant she had emptied out the intracellular compartment of its poisons and now they were gone. How did all this happen? Well, it happened because we were using something called the enterohepatic circulation. The interstitial fluid of our body does move everywhere, and a significant portion of it goes into the small intestine to mix with nutrients, become enriched with nutrient material, and then leaves the small intestine, and there are actually vessels and channels that carry it to the liver where the nutrients get processed and then it goes out to the body. Well, the poisons are going along for the ride and 100 to 125 liters of our body's fluids move through the small intestine every 24 hours. If that is the case, that's our entire body weight presenting itself every 24 hours to be cleaned. Now, by comparison, yes, you can use little electrical paddles that go on your feet in a solution and it'll pull, using electromagnetic fields, it'll pull some of the toxins out into the water and because those toxins will oxidize, they'll turn black and they'll make the water look black. But in terms of actual volume of toxins removed, it's really relatively minor compared to what we're removing when we're filtering 120 to 125 liters of fluid a day. Similarly, when we do saunas, yes, sweating releases toxins. And I recommend that we take and use charcoal soaps at every bath and every time we shower to remove the toxins from the surface of our skin so we don't reabsorb them. But by comparison to a liter of sweat versus 125 liters of fluids being cleansed, continuously, there's no comparison. And I know that this approach will work and will clear the toxins effectively. Again, one cautionary note, I do not recommend to people that they use herbal detoxes or glutathione unless they are simultaneously using a sequestrant. Otherwise, the poisons will increase in the circulating fluids and symptoms will increase and the manifestations of the poisoning will increase.